very early in the morning on the first day of the week the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb they found the stone rolled away from the tomb but when they entered they did not find the body of the Lord While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Our risen Lord, we greet you this morning risen to meet us from the tomb. Help us to turn towards you in great faith, believing that you are alive, that you reign in heaven, and that your love for us is real. So be with us in this short time of meditation for Easter Sunday. May we know the joy and the peace and the life that comes from trusting in you, our Lord and Saviour. We pray in your name. Amen. And Margaret Chung will bring our Easter reading from Matthew's Gospel. Our reading today is from Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 to 10. The Resurrection after the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Amen. Later on YouTube, there will be two services. There will be an online service and uh, that was made for online purposes. And there will be a recording of the service uh, from the church tonight. So you can have uh, morning, noon and night um, services for Easter Sunday. But for now, we're going to have a meditation um, on what Easter means for us, what does Easter mean for us? There were a group of people in Corinth uh, that Paul was responsible for. He was responsible for that church. And they didn't believe. They didn't believe in this day. They didn't believe in the resurrection. And Paul is at pains to explain to them the reality and the power and the reason and the hope 
is ours because of the resurrection. And so we read these verses now from that letter to the Corinthians. The Resurrection of the Dead So it will be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonour. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. We have borne the image of the earthly man. So shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. The dead will be raised, will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed, and the mortal raised with immortality. Death will be swallowed up in victory. The sting of death is sin, but thanks be to God, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our labour in the Lord is not in vain. Thanks be to God indeed. Amen. And now go in peace into this Easter morning and Easter day. May the Lord be with you. And may we join again for our Easter day services online and on the phone. God bless. Amen.